Have you ever read a recipe guide from a cookbook or a website but didn't understand everything that's written? What we do is just ignore the unfamiliar words and keep reading. Sometimes, when we are familiar with the recipe we just scan the headline and remember the important details. As a result, our cooked food is too salty or bland, too hard or too soft, and undercooked or overcooked. It's frustrating when we waste our energy, time, and money, on something that we are not happy with the result. There are cooking methods or terminologies that are written on every cookbook that we should be aware of. Just knowing these simple terms will be easy for us to grasp the information on what we are reading. Here are the most common cooking methods on every recipe website or cookbook. Frying, is a cooking method in high heat, using oil, or another fat in a shallow pan, over relatively high heat. The common recipes for frying are, fried egg, fried fish, or any dish that is turned once or twice during cooking, using tongs or a spatula. Sautéing, is a French word for jumped or bounced. Sautéing is similar to frying. The ingredients are also cooked in an oil or fat in a shallow pan over high heat except that the foods are cooked by tossing in the pan. The common recipes for sautéing are sautéed vegetables or sautéed shrimp. Deep fry, is a cooking method where foods are completely submerged in an oil or fat. The common recipes are French fries, and fried chicken. Braising is a cooking method using both dry and wet heats. First, the food is cooked at a high temperature by any means like grilling, roasting, or broiling followed by the moist cooking method in a covered pot at a lower temperature while sitting in some amount of flavored liquid. The common recipes of braising are braised beef, braised chicken, and braised pork. Simmering, refers to the cooking method in a liquid that is just below the boiling point. With simmering you'll see bubbles forming and gently rising to the surface of the water, but the water is not at a full roll. Simmering is the most common moist cooking method like simmering stocks and soups to cooking vegetables. Stewing, is a slow cooking method in a closed pan where the meat or vegetables are cut into smaller pieces and submerge in the liquid. The common recipes of stews are beef stew or bean stew. Steaming, is a cooking method where the heat of moist is used. This method is done by continuously boiling the water causing it to vaporize into steam. This steam then carries heat to the nearby food, thus cooking the food. The food is kept separate from the boiling water but has direct contact with the steam, resulting in a moist texture to the food. The most common recipe for steaming is steamed broccoli or steamed fish. Boiling, is a wet cooking method where ingredients are cooked in water at 100 degrees Celsius. The most common recipe for boiling is boiled egg or boiled potatoes. Poaching is a cooking method that involves cooking by submerging food in a liquid. Poaching is different from simmering and boiling because it uses relatively low heat, there should be few to no bubbles in the water. This is suitable for delicate foods like eggs, fish, or fruits that would be disturbed or destroyed by aggressive bubbles. The most common recipe for poaching is a poached egg or poached fish. Blanching, is a wet cooking method where the ingredient is submerged in boiling water in a short amount of time and then plunged in water with ice, to cool it down quickly. Blanching is commonly used to preserve the color, flavor, and nutritional value of the food. The most common recipe for blanching is blanch green beans. This cooking method is mostly used in vegetables. Roasting, is a dry heat cooking method where ingredients are cooked in an oven. The hot air covers the food, cooking it evenly on all sides. Roasting is suitable for slower cooking of meat in a large serving or whole piece. The most common recipes for roasting are roast chicken or roast potato. Baking is a dry heat cooking method that can be done in an oven or hot stones. Baking are usually foods prepared from flour or meal derived from some form of grain. Baking is similar to roasting, however, baking refers to foods that have no initial structure, like breads, pies, cupcakes, cakes, and cookies. And roasting is the cooking of foods that include meat and vegetables, that already have a solid structure before cooking. 
grilling, is a dry heat cooking method where direct or radiant heat is applied to the surface of the foods from below. A grill pan or an open wire is used in this cooking method. The most common recipe for grilling is barbecue. Broiling, is a dry heat cooking method that uses direct heat similar to grilling. However, in broiling, the heat source is above the food. Broiling method is considered to be a healthier way to cook food since the heat is coming from above, the fat of the food drips below. The most common recipes for broiling are usually meats. Knowing these cooking methods will be easier for anyone to understand every detail on the recipe guide. In case you're planning to create your own recipe you can plan ahead on what cooking method will be more suitable to attain the best effect or flavor on your dish. Thanks for watching.